So are you also a YouTuber who want to get more views, more clicks and more impressions on a newly published YouTube video? So guys, this video is for you because here I'm about to show you an automation which will let you share your newly published YouTube video on WhatsApp account of your audience, your friends and your family automatically. Yes, guys, this can happen. Let me show you how. So guys, this will be the flow of this automation here as in when you are going to publish any video on YouTube, the link of that video is going to be shared with your audience on WhatsApp automatically. Yes, guys. So you do not need to copy and paste the videos link repetitively and send it manually via WhatsApp. So it will save your time, your energy and it will uh, boost your views also on YouTube. And we are using Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And the best part is anyone can set up this automation without any coding skills or programming knowledge with just few easy steps. Let me show you how you can also do this. So to start with, you need to reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect here. And guys, uh, to reach here, you can use this link pabli.com slash connect. And we have pasted the same in the description as well. From here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. So sign up right now and then log in to reach here on the dashboard. And guys, here you have to create a workflow for that. Just click here on this create workflow button and here you can give a suitable name to your workflow. So I'm giving the name here as share YouTube videos <coughs> link on WhatsApp. All right. <clears throat> so after giving the name like this, you just have to click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up here. And on this page, guys, you will find the trigger and action first. So automations work on these two things only. So the trigger is the happening of that event, which is going to trigger or start this workflow. And the action would be the response towards the trigger. As in this use case, the trigger would be uploading of a YouTube video on YouTube and the action towards that trigger would be to share the link of that same video to your audience. Okay. So guys, actually I have maintained a spreadsheet here in which I have collected the data of my uh, friends and my network. So I have the names here, the email addresses here and the WhatsApp numbers here. Okay. So to all these WhatsApp numbers, I'm going to instantly send the videos link as I'm going to upload it on my channel, right? So for that, uh, here you have to set up the trigger first. From here, choose the trigger application as YouTube. So search for YouTube. Here it is. Select it. And the trigger event would be a new video in channel with video URL. Okay, select it. All right, then click on connect. And from here, select add new connection, then click on connect with YouTube. From here, you have to select the Google account by which you have created the channel. Select that. All right. And then you have to give some additional access to Babli Connect. Just click on continue from here and you'll be connected with YouTube. You can see we are now connected and here it is. It started showing the channel's ID, which is Ashi Rai. Okay, so this is my channel, guys. The name of the channel is Ashirai's channel. Okay, so it got selected here. And now when you click on save and send test request, it will retrieve the data of a most recently uploaded video that you have in your channel. So this is most recently upload, uploaded video I have. The, the name of the video is once in a blue moon. Okay, so this is the recently uploaded video. You can see the last video I have published here, which is public is this one. Okay, on 9th April. Right. So I'm going to click on save and send test request here. And you can see this is the response we have received. And in this snippet title, you can see we got the title of the video once in a blue moon in the snippet description label, you will get the description of the video. The ocean is looking beautiful. This is a demo a video I have uploaded for to show you how this is going to work. And here you can see we got this video URL here. Okay. Right now, guys, I'm going to share this video URL to my uh, contacts list that I have created here in the spreadsheet. So to get the contact details from this spreadsheet, we need to connect this spreadsheet application here in this section step. So from here, search for Google Sheets application, which is here. 
and in the action event select get rows option so it will retrieve the data of the rows that you have in your spreadsheet then click on connect and from this window select add new connection then click on connect with google sheets and from here you have to select the google account by which you are uh, you have created that sheet okay select that okay then give the additional access to Babli Connect. just click on continue from here all right and you can see the authorization is successful and we are getting connected here so we are now connected and here it is asking to select the name of your spreadsheet so when you click here it will show you the list of all the spreadsheets that you have in your google sheets application right now i want to connect this one the name of this sheet is clients data okay so i'm going to search for this sheet here this is it select it all right and you can see the sheets name got selected here we have two sheets here actually so i have the data in sheet one so you have to select sheet one from here okay like this now it is asking for the range of data that you have so we to uh, it, it is going to retrieve the data according to the selected range that you have that you are going to put here so to get the range what you can do go back to your spreadsheet and in this sheet from the second row where you have started filling the details of the uh, of your network or your audience just start selecting the data like this okay and keep selecting till the last row like this okay and when you're done selecting this you can see in this name box we got this code saying a2 colon c19 so this means uh, we have the data from from column a row 2 to column c row number 19 okay this is what this code means you can just copy this range from here and paste it here in your workflow in the range field like this all right and guys i want to send the youtube videos link to everyone here present in this spreadsheet one by one so what our workflow is going to do first it is going to send the message to this person then this then this then this then this okay one by one uh, row by row okay so to make this workflow run row by row we are going to uh, fetch the details first fetch the data first from our spreadsheet and we are going to fetch the data in array format then we are going to arrange that array data into row by row okay let me show you so to get the data in array format just toggle the simple response button to off then click on save and send test request and the data will be here from your spreadsheet and here in the response you can see we got this response result label in, we, in which we got the data in this array format you can see we got the data like this okay now we can arrange it in row by row with the help of feature of Pabli Connect which is called iterator. So just click here on this plus icon and another action step will open up from here select this iterator and it is asking to choose your array. So from here only I can choose this previous steps array which we are, which I have received here this response result array. Okay. So just click here and from this Google Sheets step select this array then click on save and send test request and now you can see it started showing the data of the first row so this is how it is going to work it is going to uh, start working from the first row then second then third then fourth up to the last row okay so here we got the data of the first row from our spreadsheet separated like this okay now guys after that what we want we want to send a message to this person on whatsapp with the video link okay for that to happen just click here on this plus icon and from this action step search for whatsapp's cloud api whatsapp cloud api so guys this is the recently launched feature by facebook that uh, now people and business can have the access of whatsapp's api that is application programming interface to send messages directly on whatsapp account of multiple people at once okay so to use this first of all you need to set up your cloud api uh, in the developer section of meta or facebook and if you want to know how to do that you can check the videos in the description from where uh, you can learn how to set up your cloud api okay after that you can use it here and in the action event you have to select send template message option all right then click on connect and from this window select add new connection if you're making this connection with cloud api for the very first time 
all right and now you can uh, give a name to this connection by clicking here okay and then it will ask for this permanent access token of your cloud api setup the phone number id and the business account id details okay so if you want to know more about these three things uh, you can check the videos in the description or what you can do you just can click here on this here word written in blue and you will reach this forum page of Pabli Connect, forum.pabli.com and in the threads you can watch these videos on complete cloud API setup and how to generate the permanent access token and also you will find the steps along with the screenshot, uh, screenshots to connect WhatsApp cloud API in the trigger or in the action and you will get to know everything about cloud API setup from this page only. Okay. And for these three things, I can show you my cloud API setup also. So guys, uh, this is Meta for Developers page and here I am under uh, this application, my connect message app. And here you will see I have my cloud API already set up and I'm under the getting started page of WhatsApp. Here guys, you will get the temporary access token first. So the temporary tokens expires in 24 hours. So you need to generate a permanent one if you want to keep running your workflows. And uh, you can watch the videos on how to do that from the forum or from the description. So once you get your permanent token generated, you have to keep it safe because you can use the same token to make the connections afterwards also. So after getting the token, paste it here in this permanent token field. And the phone number ID you will get here in this send and receive messages section. This is the phone number ID. You can copy it from here, paste it here. Similarly, you can copy this WhatsApp account ID also and paste it here <coughs> like this. All right. And after that, you just have to click on save and you will be connected with your cloud API setup. And guys, this connection that you have made by this process is going to be saved in your account. And after that, if you want to make the connections again in a different workflow, you can use that existing connection that you have already connected in a different workflow. I can show you as I have already connected with my cloud API setup previously in different workflows. So now I can choose any of my existing connection. Let me show you. I just have to click on this existing connection option. And here in this connections list, it will show me show me the list of all the previous connections that I have with my cloud API. From here, I can choose anyone like this. I'm selecting this one. And now I just have to click on save and I'll be connected again. Okay, like this, right? And here it is asking for the templates name, message templates name. First, let me tell you what message templates are. So guys, from here, I'm going to click on this uh, message. You can read to create your own message template, click here. So I'm clicking on this here word. And this page will open up and here are all the uh, message templates I have created and approved. Let me show you one. So guys to send messages to multiple people on WhatsApp at once. First of all, you need to create these messages, uh, such message templates like here and get it approved from Facebook. Okay. And the template I'm using here is this one named as this video upload. Okay. So these are the predefined message structures that we can use to send messages on WhatsApp. And here you can see this message template is going to look like this on WhatsApp. New video uploaded to YouTube channel, Ashi channel. Okay. Title is this video link is this. Okay. That's how it is going to appear. So to create such a uh, template and you can see uh, in this message, the channel's name and the video link and the title is going to change every time. Not exactly the channel name, but the title and URL 100% is going to change with every new video and the message. So to get these things changed with every new message, you need to put some variable tags here inside your message body. You can see like this two, three. Okay. One, two, three. These are the variable tags or the body fields of the message. Let me show you how you can create such a template. So you'll find this create message template button here. Just click on it. And then you will find these three categories in which you can create the templates, the transactional one, the marketing one and the OTPs. So let us select marketing. Now you can give a name to this uh, uh, template like this. Then you can select the language in which you want to send the message like this. After that, just come here, click on continue. And here you will find the header section in which you can add a header in your message template. 
and in that header you can send text or media and in that media you can attach an image a video or a document okay here in the body box you have to start typing uh, the main message that you want to send like this and if you want to add the variable text that I have told you you just have to click here on this add, add variable button and this is how a tag will be placed in your message so you have to put these variable tags or body fields in proper places so that you can get these things changed with every new message then you can add a footer or a call to action button also and after that you just have to click on submit from here and submit it right now I'm cancelling this so after getting your template submitted Facebook is going to review it and approve it in a few minutes after that you can use it and I have already approved that so I'm going to select this template from this templates list in my workflow search here video okay this is the template I'm using right no need to fill the language code and ID it will be auto populated and here it is asking for the recipient's mobile number or the whatsapp number of the person to whom we are going to send this video link as a message so you can see that we have fetched the contact details here in this spreadsheet step okay and we have separated the data row by row by the iterator and we got this mobile number label here in which we have the whatsapp number so guys i am going to map this label here just click here and it will give you these previous steps in the drop down and from this iterator step map this label okay so you have to map the label uh, with this country code like 91 for india okay so for your uh, country the, this can be different okay and now it is asking for these body fields one two and three and as i've already shown you that i have these three variable tags in or body fields in my message template let me show you this one two and three and the one is for uh, the name of the channel second is for the title of the video and third is for the videos link so to get these things changed with every new message we are going to map the values of these three things here and we are going to use the previous steps only to map such data so just click here and you will get the youtube video channels name here in the first step i think this is the channel's title in the channel title label you can map it like this in the second body field i am going to map the video's title which you will find from the youtube step and the video title is this and finally in the third body field i am going to map the link of the video so video's link is here this is it raise to video url okay now guys you can check your connection with whatsapp by clicking on save and send test request and a test message will be sent to this whatsapp number and actually i have the access to this whatsapp number so i can show you how the message is going to look like so i'm clicking on save and send test request here so guys this is the response we have received and you can see we got a new message here on this whatsapp account let me show you the message and the message is this new video uploaded to the youtube ashirai channel the title is this the video url is this and from this link people can reach out to your video like this and this is the same video that we have uploaded that we got here okay and this these are the same details in the message also you can see the channel's name is here the title is here which i have uh, mapped here in these body fields so this is how it is going to work guys and we are done setting up this automation and you need to set up this automation only once after that as and when you are going to upload any video and publish any video on your youtube channel these messages like this is going to be delivered to all your contacts present here in your spreadsheet automatically and guys the good part is you can use the same workflow that i have created because i'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel